8-bit MP4s, 10-bit ProRes, 12-bit B-Raw, what does all this mean? Well, I'm glad you asked. You already know that images are made up of pixels, which are themselves made up of red, green, and blue subpixels. And all that data has to be stored somewhere, so your computer, streaming service, whatever, uses those binary ones and zeros that we all love so much. The quantity of these binary units, or bits, that we use to describe each pixel is called the bit depth. The greater the bit depth, the more information we have for each pixel. Let's take a look at the bit depth for this grayscale image. A 1-bit image is just black and white, either 0 or 1. A 2-bit image gives us four possible values for each pixel. Move that up to 8 bits and you have 256 shades of gray. Add in color and that gives us over 16 million possible colors. 10-bit video will give you over a billion colors. And 12-bit will give you over 68 billion, that's with a B. But wait! Most people can only see about a million colors, and the vast majority of consumer displays only take 8-bit signal. So what's up with all this extra information taking up all this space on my hard drive? Well, there's actually an in-depth scientific reason why people can see the difference between 8- and 10-bit video, but the biggest reason you want to shoot with higher bit depth is if you're going to be doing any post-processing before you're ready to show the world your masterpiece. Every change you make to the pixels of an image, like brightening it or changing the color, pushes the image a little bit farther from what it was originally recorded at. Push the image too far and the lack of color resolution could become apparent, making your festival-worthy film look like a low-quality JPEG from the early 2000s. Also, a higher bit depth can make keying a lot easier as well, as it gives the computer more information to help it distinguish between you, the green screen, and that green plant that you're holding for some reason. And as 10-bit HDR becomes more common, both in content and supported devices, you want to keep pace with changing consumer demands as well. So maybe you should invest in that larger hard drive after all.